bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will not be room enough to store it. Malachi 3 and verse 10. Operating under open heaven. Praise Jesus Christ. Tithing is a concept that attracts a lot of controversies in modern day world. But uh, moving away from contradictions and controversies, who is supposed to pay tithe? Is it the priests? Is it the Levites? Is it the Israelites? That verse, if you read it, the Lord had said, you are under a curse, the whole nation, the whole nation, not priests, the whole nation, the whole citizenship. Moving from that, the Lord said, bring all your tithe into the storehouse of the Lord that there may be food, food for the ministers of God, food for the orphans, food for the windows, food for the strangers. And he said, if only you can do this, the ripple effect is, I will draw open the flood gates of heaven. Meaning, when we pay tithe, however you would, you understand it. I normally tell people, as pastors, we shall come with controversial sermons one after the other. But I do tell people, read the Bible yourself, understand it yourself through the Holy Spirit, implement just to obey God. Whether the pastor is saying it is right or it is wrong, you just obey God because obedience is better than tithing. Just obey God. And he's saying, the Lord himself is only saying, you are tithe or offering or the gift or any ministerial financial commitment you make is a key that opens your heavens. The gates of heaven, they are thrown open. And this amazing concept, because we say it, the spiritual is the one that affects the physical. So if the heavens are not releasing its impartation, its supernaturality, the heavens are not releasing its divinity. The heavens are not releasing their reigns, their due. The heavens are not releasing their grace, their anointing, their power. The, 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 the heavens are not releasing the Holy Spirit of what you are doing. Then the physical will be in an opposite state from the reality. The reality of God is you're supposed to be walking with abundance. You're supposed to be walking with overflow. You're supposed to be walking with beyond measure. You're supposed to be walking with immeasurability. You're supposed to be walking with surpluses. But if the heavens are not releasing the blessing, the impartation, are not releasing the supernatural touch, then the heavens are not releasing anything. 
the <coughs> he is saying, I will, I will throw open the floodgate of heaven and pour out so much blessing, pouring out the pouring, so that there will be no room enough to store it. You, that is just reason, like foolish people. Who would, who would not want surplus? Who would not want abundance? Who would not want multiplication? And he's saying, if you pay tithe, I will throw open the floodgates of heaven and then allow a release and now the pouring of blessing, not the blessings, blessing. So it is an impartation. So meaning it is a form of power, is a form of strengthening, is a form of energy, is a form of ability that enables you to produce abundance, to produce much more, to produce excellence, to produce increase, to produce high densities of population in terms of customers or whatever. The key is the tithing. Or we can stop using the term tithing and we put it as offering or a gift. What we call a sacrificial giving or or or, or rough giving. However you want it or obedience giving. However you may want it to understand. But God is telling you you have, if you bring something, not because that is what the Lord wants to bless you, but the Lord is testing your faith. He is saying, test me. So there are some certain things that God demands, not because that thing is what he's interested with, God and his silver as he is. But he is testing your faith in him. He is testing your obedience. He is testing your convictions. He is testing your faithfulness. He is testing your trustworthiness in the ability of God. So you want to see, because Jesus said, where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. So he is testing your commitment. You know, and the Lord said, it is up to you to decide. You bring the tithe. You do not have enough space to store the kind of the idea. It will be a very big strategy, a very big opportunity that you cannot handle alone. An outpouring of favor, an outpouring of strategies, an outpouring of dimensions and not the pouring of connections and not the pouring of networking and not the pouring of opportunities and not the pouring of you know just things working for you light left in the center you are enjoying breakthrough you are enjoying grace you are enjoying anointing. You are enjoying impartation from heaven called Holy Spirit. You are enjoying the ability and the power of God in making things work towards your advantage in increasing capacity. I wanted to rise on that verse only. Apart from the other one, I will, I will rebuke the devourer in that. But this one of the fradicate of it will open and he will pour out on you blessing that you do not have enough room to store. It is my sincere prayer. We take risk. Let us see if it really, or the road really means it. Let us do it. Because if that is the key that will command the heaven, the, the gates of heaven to open, and there be an outpouring, of blessing that you will not have enough space to store, then let us go for it. If there is an easy way, there is a shortcut, and the shortcut is saying tithing. Let us then go for it through faith, trust, and also through conviction in God.